Welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I'm Andrew Armstrong and uh, today we're going to be looking at one of these. No doubt you've got one or many of these in your possession and these are of course SD cards. This SD card is made by Panasonic and it's a 16 gigabyte class, ooh what's that, a class 6. And uh, the problem with this card is it's become very unreliable over the last few years and I can't trust it anymore so it really is not worth the time or the cost to see what's wrong with this um, at a software sort of level there's no point debugging it put it that way versus the data cost of losing say an interview on video so what I'm going to do is just see if I can open this up for your plaisir so we can see what's inside uh, one of these um, I'm going to make a guess because I've opened one up before, not this particular brand, and it was only a little tiny chip about this big, about yay big, but you know, who knows? We don't really know what's inside these until we actually delve deeper. So we've got a locking mechanism here, all these little features. So I'm just going to start working it at that edge because I think that will give me a more likely in because there's going to be a hole in the case. Ah, here we go. You see that? Just about prise it apart there. And I can see a chip. Yes, indeedy. Oh, wow. How unexpected. Look at this. Now, this is a rare pleasure because you don't normally get this level of complexity in SD cards anymore. So what we'll do, let's just zoom in a touch more. There we go. How's that? chance to have a look. So here's two Toshiba flash memory chips. TH58 NVG 6D 1D TGK0. Wow. And uh, two little itty bitty controller chips in there, which I'm going to... It's a nice PCB as well, look. Just inspecting this region here in case maybe it was just dirty tracks all along who knew i mean they were a bit filthy but i, I don't i i really uh, I doubt it's that so is there anything we can see here so it's a p24v0 pcb it's really thin i don't have a micrometer with me but it's a pretty thin pcb and it's you can see actually how easily these things could be damaged if you ever flex the SD card. That way is probably okay, but if you flexed it this way, you know, sideways on, you have risk popping these flash pins on the edge. So let's see if we can identify what the controller chips are. Those are these chips down here. They're very hard to see, but you know, you've got a 950098 two of those as well. Right, I think that's all there is. So those are clearly responsible for the data getting pushed to these. Yeah. There we go, nothing but just standard flash chips and two controllers. I don't know if these Oh look, they're uh, BGA. So this is uh, interesting. So these are the normal, I can't even remember what we call these now, just inline pin packages, SOIC, something like that. But this is far more interesting. These are BGA, these are ball grid array chips. So you can see the pins are all underneath the chips in a sort of a matrix, um, as opposed to just along the edge. Um, these are really can be tricky if you're actually doing your own PCB prototyping to put these down because they really don't want to go on the board <laughs> and it's very hard to rework them later. So that's what's inside one of these older Panasonic memory cards. Now you don't have to rip them open yourself and if when you want to get rid of them I don't know just crunch them up and recycle them. As ever thank you for watching.